Though very simple to tie, don't let it fool you, the zebra midge can be absolutely deadly. It is typically tied in black, red, brown, and olive, and it is usually tied in sizes 16 and smaller. This fish, caught by my good friend, took a size 18 black zebra midge and left me jealous for the rest of the day. Begin the fly with a bead already on the hook and start your thread near the bead. Once the thread is started, don't wrap down the shank just yet. Place a piece of wire next to your hook and tuck it into the end of the bead. Begin taking thread wraps at the bead and work your way down into the bend. Once you have reached what will be the end of the body, start taking wraps back up to the bead. Each turn that you take will introduce a twist into the thread. It will stop laying flat and start making lumps. We want a smooth tapered body, so whenever the thread twists up too tight, just twist your bobbin counterclockwise until the thread lays flat again. Wrap down into the bend and back up to the bead several times, each time making sure you go a little shorter than the time before. This creates a smooth taper up to the bead. I like the diameter of the body at the head to be about the same size as the hole on the back of the bead. Any larger and you run the risk of building up too much bulk when you whip finish. Once you are satisfied with the taper, end with your thread behind the bead. If you use a rotary vise, add a half hitch at this point, otherwise you can just begin wrapping the wire forward to create even segments. When wrapping the wire forward, wrap it the opposite direction as the thread. This makes it easier to tie off at the head. Once you get to the bead, tie off the wire by taking wraps on either side of it, then helicopter or cut your wire off close to the body. Whip finish just behind the bead and cut your thread free. These are one of the quickest flies you'll ever tie, so having a bunch in different colors and sizes is an easy task and highly recommended. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to respond to all of them. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like it. Thanks for watching and tight lines.